what was your most memorable experience while you were president of the ASDS? So I, I think what I remember most fondly is those times in the in the board meetings where we're all around the table, you're around the table all with colleagues who are highly engaged in the organization, they're smart, we're, we're solving problems that, we're, that have come up. I felt like everybody came in with a very open mind and no hidden agenda, and I just felt like that interaction was really fun. That's great. And yeah, I totally feel that. And I think it's one of those things where I've been on a lot of other boards that don't work that way, and it was really refreshing at the ASDS to see people come in without the agenda and to just you know explore things and, and have their be willing to have their opinions and change during the course of it. Um, so during your presidency, what were the main issues facing the society? I think our big one of the biggest issues was um, developing an information platform. We, we developed our first sort of information platform, the Quest platform, which is now already changing. But um, it was a new way for us to engage membership, to put content, educational content out there for our members, and just those growing pains of trying to get people to use it and become engaged. Um, and then I guess the second thing was I really, it was my goal to really get the surgical directors involved in a very sort of vibrant way uh, with the organization. And so those were the things that I really enjoyed doing, both of them. You did a great job with all of those. Um, let's see, what were the most significant innovations going on in dermatology around your time? I, know it's hard I to feel pinpoint. like, um, you know, sort of uh, skin tightening devices and maybe um, not, uh, you know, uh, non ablative you know, technology with fat removal, I mean, just that kind of thing, just mm -hmm. less invasive ways to do what we've been doing for years. Exactly. <laughs> um, so th thinking about your career, what interested you, what got you into dermatology and dermatologic surgery? I, um, what got me interested in dermatology? I think I went to medical school kind of very blindly. I thought, I thought I like kids, I think I'll be a pediatrician. <laughs> Turns out I don't like sick kids that much, <laughs> just the healthy ones. <laughs> but um, when I got to medical school, I really loved uh, surgery, but I also wanted to be like really engaged with people and I didn't want to stand in an OR for hours on end. And I felt like dermatologic surgery gave me that opportunity to do procedures, but actually be more engaged with the patient. Mm -hmm. And speaking of patients, do you have any patient that sticks out in your career as being especially memorable? Oh God, just one, there's so many, for good reasons and for sad reasons. I mean, a uh, um, 50 something year old man um, who had a basal cell on his face and he, after he was ignored during incarceration, um, and it was allowed to get very large, and um, he had to get an orbital exoneration because of the basal cell, and I did the Mohs on his case and went to the OR. And the amazing thing about him is here's somebody that I think society had discounted in many ways. He had been ignored. And um, he was making jokes about getting a pirate's patch, and he, it just, it was, it was uplifting even. He, the way he handled it was so beautiful. That's nice. And I, think, I was saying it's really nice, particularly with Moe's, that we have the time with these patients to actually talk to them, get to know them, and hear their stories. Yeah. Um, so looking back in your career, is there anything you would change, have done differently? I, I am so lucky to have the career that I've had. I've had such a phenomenal time, and it's hard to even think of something that I would change other than just maybe worry less. That's a good one. <laughs> um, what advice would you give today's young dermatologic surgeons? Um, be authentic. Be the doctor that you would want to go to. Listen to your patients. Be compassionate. Take time. Great advice. Um, and what are your predictions for the future of the specialty? I think the future is really bright. I, I mean, we, we've we made so much progress in dealing with difficult skin cancers. We're at the forefront of all of those developments. We have to embrace that kind of change. I think we, uh, 
dermatologists take care of complicated medical conditions and we use lasers for those medical conditions sometimes. I think we've been so innovative with cosmetics. I think the key is just to embrace the change and know that the future will be different but still bright. And what advice do you have for the ASDS leadership going forward? Um, I would just say embrace the uh, diversity of the specialty, support high quality education, um, support advancements and sort of ethical practice, help us with advocacy. Um, there's a lot to do and we appreciate all of the staff at ASDS that help us do it.